Jesus of Nazareth, the only true God. Our opening scripture comes from the book of John, chapter 6, verse 69. And we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. When Jesus walked the streets of Galilee, Capernaum, Jerusalem, many didn't quite give attention to who he really was. Today is Christmas, the celebration of the birth of Jesus. Yet, the most that some know about him is that he was born of a virgin, while others see him as one of the greatest miracle workers who ever graced Israel. But his life was more than miraculous. When Jesus walked the earth, he was God in the flesh. All of divinity was tabernacled in him. He was the living body of the Almighty God. He was God alive, walking and talking in a man's body. Read what Colossians chapter 1 verse 19 of the Amplified Classic says about him. For it has pleased the Father that all the divine fullness, the sum total of the divine perfection, powers, and attributes should dwell in him permanently. This should help you understand John's statement in John chapter 1 verse 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Jesus was the glory of God manifested to us. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 of the Amplified Classic says, He is the sole expression of the glory of God, the light being, the outraying or radiance of the divine. And he is the perfect imprint and very image of God's nature, upholding and maintaining and guiding and propelling the universe by his mighty word of power. Jesus is the love of God manifested to us. He showed us a good example by loving everyone unconditionally, including his accusers. He loved and offered his life for us as a sacrifice for our sins. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savour. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 to 2. Romans chapter 5, verse 8 says, But God commanded his love towards us, in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. These aren't the attributes or works of a religious leader. No one in history loves or could ever love like Jesus. He was God's light, of whom John the Baptist bore witness, so that all men through him might believe. John chapter 1 verse 9 says of Jesus, That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Amazing reality. No wonder he celebrated, honored, and adored in heaven and in the earth. He has the greatest honor even in hell. He's the greatest of all the only one who could save man to the uttermost and make the divine life available and possible for all men to receive. Jesus of Nazareth, the only true God. Please say this confession with me. Blessed Jesus, how great and glorious you are. Savior of the world, joy of heaven, and hope of all mankind. Thank you for giving me eternal life. Thank you for making me the living house of the living God. Manifesting your glory and righteousness in and through me everywhere. You're the only wise and true God. Your name be praised and adored now and forever. Amen. For further study, please read Colossians chapter 2 verse 9. John chapter 17 verse 3. Acts chapter 2, verse 36, and 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 14 to 16. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Revelation chapter 17 and Zechariah chapters 1 to 3. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Acts chapter 3, verses 12 to 26, and Ezra chapters 3 to 4. Rhapsody of reality.